Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the building. Today I have another project. And this project is basically to build a shed in this area. This is the spot that I was clearing out in the last video. And what I'm gonna do here is build a shed. And that shed is gonna be used as a storage for the materials of the building of my house. Today is a very exciting day because the materials for the building of the shed are arriving in a couple of minutes from here. So I'm very excited to start building with those materials. Guys, the materials are here. So now I can start building the shed. I designed the plans for this shed. I'm not an architect. I know that I, will, I made a ton of mistakes in there, but I feel happy because first, I designed it. And second, I'm gonna build this thing. Right now, this is the hard part. I need to carry all these materials from here until there. That's my house's butt just in that corner and I need to carry all these materials I need to bring them from here and take them all the way down here that's gonna be a good excuse for the workout these things are pretty heavy and I'm thinking about the gravel and the sand because I'm gonna need to mix this cement with gravel and sand to create the concrete the concrete mix that I'm gonna use for the footers of the shed so I know that's gonna be a lot of work to carry these things from all the way up in the hill until the bottom of the hill so I may ask Eberto for help Eberto quieres hacer un trato te compro un helado y me ayudas a cargar la arena y la piedra mañana Bro, un helado, el sabor que quieras. <risa> Dos helados. Sube, sube la apuesta, sube la apuesta, vamos a subir la apuesta. ¿Qué quieres? Tres helados. Tres helados, listo. ¿Cuántas de arena son? Es un metro y un metro. Ay, pero mejor no, mejor no. <risa> And that was the last one. And you know, I have a Berto. He said he wanted to help. And he, he's helping me to cut some of this uh, grass here. And the size of this building is gonna be 10 by 10. So basically, it's gonna be a kind of a square of 10 by 10. What I'm gonna do with these cariolas is that I'm gonna take four of them. They are 20 feet long. I'm gonna cut them in half. It's gonna be 10 feet long each of the sides. And I'm gonna weld them together and I'm gonna create what we call a caballo. A caballo is basically two of these metal beams together. We weld them together and then we create a caballo. It makes them be a little bit stronger than what they are and they could be used for simple structures. But before of that, I need to mark the lines for the structure. Guess what? We're gonna have to level the terrain. I thought that it was gonna be a little bit flatter because the surface here looks like it's flatter than here, but when we checked with the level, the difference is big. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to make it a little flatter. And the good thing is that we are gonna be able to use some of this dirt that we took out of these holes. So we're gonna use some of this dirt and level that spot.
The first one is done. We. Second one. The third one is also done. And the fourth one is ready too. And honestly guys, it was less than 40 minutes. But now, what I have to do is to weld the cariolas together to make the caballos and start placing those caballos that are gonna be actually the footers in the place where they need to be. But that's gonna be tomorrow because it's pretty dark now and I'm just gonna move the goats to their house and that's gonna be the day. Good morning guys, today is welding day and what I need to weld today are the cariolas. Well, now that it's completely welded, uh, I need to cut it in half. So these ones right here are actually the first two pieces for the first two footers and I'm missing two more so I need to do the whole process again to get two more pieces I apologize for all the noise in the back but we are working hard and what we're doing now is cutting these rebar pieces and what we're gonna do is to put these little pieces right here weld them in this place we're gonna put one here we're gonna put one more here and other one here and that's gonna help to hold this structure to hold this caballo with the concrete mix that we're gonna make <laughs> Iberto wants me to teach him how to weld I don't really know how to weld but I'm gonna teach him what I know and it's honestly guys it's not that much it's very very limited my knowledge about welding Look at this guy, he's crushing it right there. I think my camera is broken, the wind just blow it. And no, I cannot use the manual focus. I can barely use the lens and I don't know what I'm gonna do. This is like a kind of tough relation with the wind. I love the feeling of the wind, but I really hate the struggles that it made. For example, today it broke my camera. Maybe tomorrow it's gonna blow away my house, who knows? No, this is the moment. We need to carry all these pieces down to the place where they are gonna go. Before, I was thinking in weld everything there, but I don't wanna take the risk with the welder to get broken uh, because we have, we have been having a lot of Bahareke these days ago and I don't wanna take that risk. So, we decided to bring all these pieces up here and weld it in this place where the welder is gonna be covered and no everything is ready so let's carry it down to the place where it's gonna go so now we gotta prepare the concrete mix and we need the gravel and we need the sand but this thing is all the way up here in the hill and we need to carry this thing all the way down to that place there where you see the jungle down there we need to carry it
to be honest you guys two weeks ago I didn't know what a shed was I had no idea what a shed was until Jordan told me like hey what if you build a shed in that spot there and you use it to store the materials for the building because you are gonna need to get a lot of material that are gonna be hard to keep outside because the rain and all the crazy weather I was like hold on what is a shed <laughs> I know it's something very common for you in in the States and probably also in Canada that you have sheds in in your houses but here in Panama we don't have that we don't have that So far we have two of the footers done. We have that one that is right there, it's already done. We have this one right here, it's also done. But this is the end of the video. This is the end of this episode. And if you wanna know how this thing comes along, just don't forget to watch the next episode. Hopefully I'm gonna have this thing done and all the framing also done and probably the roof too. But this is it for this episode. See you guys in the next one and I love you so much. Thank you for all your support and you are the best. See you in the next one. <laughs>